Farms.com Market School with expert commodity analyst Mo Agostino is an online educational video series designed to help you, the farmer, improve your knowledge of grain marketing. Farms.com Market School is brought to you by DeKalb Brand Seeds. DeKalb, growing confidence. Today's video, we are going to explore and define the nature and components of price risk. Today's topics include what is your largest risk we're going to use some examples in defining what your largest risk is. We're going to look at gross margin, cash flow, and financial risk. And our last topic is why is cost of production important? Our first topic today is about what is your largest risk? And we're going to use some examples to explain what that largest risk is. Our first example is using a long-term chart on corn. And you can see from this chart that uh, in 2008, the price of corn dropped dramatically. Price risk is your largest risk, not basis risk. It comes in second. Marketing is the key to better and bigger profits, not production. Remember, we cannot predict the future, but having some idea of where prices are going is important. We can, however, manage that price and basis risk and volatility. Let's go back to our example with corn futures. Corn futures in 2008 rallied to $7.50 a bushel only to fall to $3 a bushel in four months. The risk was not that corn futures were going to nine, ten bucks a bushel, but rather whether they were going to three dollars a bushel. Let's use another example with soybeans. In 2008, soybean futures dropped from US sixteen fifty a bushel to eight dollars a bushel in four months' time. Again, price risk is your biggest risk. Our second topic today is about gross margin, cash flow, and financial risk. Price risk is the chance that a selling or purchasing price is lower than expected. This can lead to a gross marginal risk. Let's use 2008 November canola futures as our example. When futures went from 750 a metric ton to 350 a metric ton in four months, a lower price can lead to a gross margin risk. Gross margin is the difference between the selling cost per unit of the final product and the cash or direct cost of purchasing that unit, which will lead to a cash flow risk, which is the chance that the cash flow might be negative and eventually leads to a financial risk, which is a chance that the farm operation will be unable to repay its debt requirements. Let's look at soybeans as our first example, where we see um, the price of uh, beans at 12 bucks. It, the, the price drops to $7.50 a bushel. That's your price risk. Um, then leads to a, a negative cash flow and eventually to a financial risk. In our second example, we're using canola, where we go from 600 to 420, leads to a gross margin risk, a negative gross margin risk that leads to a cash flow risk, and then eventually a financial risk. Our third topic today is about knowing your cost of production and why it's important. Now we're gonna cover cost of production in a separate video, but for now we're just touching on it briefly. Here's an example of a tool I use for my own corporate farm where I'm entering in total acreage yield and in my cost, whether it be fixed or variable to come up with my break even. Understanding that production is important. Why? Because it can help you determine break evens and profits and when to pull the trigger. Good records are critical. Chicago prices don't care about your cost of production. Use your own cost, not the averages. Here's a good example of that price risk and volatility over many, many years. Hog futures, one of the most volatile commodities in the world. There's a lot of cattle and hog producers who are out of business for not managing that risk. As the old saying goes, bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. You never get hurt taking a profit. In our next example with oat futures, you can see the big price drop here in oats. Uh, knowing that cost of production again would have been critical because you could have been able to take profit knowing where that break even is. Do not live in the past. Learn from your mistakes. Pulling the trigger at $49 a bushel on oat futures is better than $2 a bushel.